Ready, set, cook! Cooking up something is indeed Cooking up something really neat Just for my baby, extra sweet I am cooking up something for you Funding for the Great Minnesota Recipe Junior is provided in part by Doherty Appliance Sales and Service Goat Hill Marketplace The Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and viewers like you, thank you. Welcome to the Great Minnesota Recipe Junior. I'm chef Tomorrow Tanksley, and today we've got three excited junior cooks ready to share their favorite winter recipes with you. And today I'm joined by Andre Latender Wilcox, Education and Outreach Coordinator at Whole Foods Co-op. Thank you very much, Tomorrow. I am really excited to get these young folks out here and see their creativity come together in a delicious dish, and I can't wait to try it. The theme today is winter recipes, and our cooks are Lauren, Oliver, and Gigi. They'll create two dishes for us, a small dish and then a larger dish. They'll have 40 minutes to create the first dish and then another 40 minutes to create the second. Both dishes will be used to crown the winner of the Great Minnesota Recipe Junior. Let's get to know our contestants now. I'm Lauren Jones. I'm from Carleton, Minnesota, and I've been cooking for four years. I used to like bake cakes with like my grandma and my mom for like birthdays, and then I learned how to like make pancakes by myself. So like I'd get up early and I would make pancakes for breakfast. How are you feeling now that today's the day? Very excited. Me and my brother, sometimes we cook together, but not very often. I'm kind of scared now if I do win. I think he's gonna take his Nerf gun and shoot me. Oh. Why would he do that? I don't know, jealous? He does a lot. I'm Oliver Tomsky, I'm from Duluth, Minnesota. Um, and I've been cooking for like three or four years. I first learned how to cook when I was like five or six, my grandma taught me. How are you feeling now that today's the day? Fine. Not nervous, not excited, just fine. Yeah. Okay. I guess I'm kind of excited. What would it mean to you to be the winter winner of the Great Minnesota Recipe Junior? It'd be fun. <laughs> because, uh, it'd be nice to pass down the trifle from my mom to my grandma, then to me, and everyone can know about it. And then maybe they'll make it sometime. I am Gigi Calland. I live in Duluth, Minnesota. Um, and I started cooking at a very young age because um, my grandma taught me how to make chocolate chip cookies when I was like three, and it just stuck with me. I feel super excited. I've been, when I got the email, I was like, because I've never done like a cooking show before. When I was like really young, the only TV that my parents would let me watch was cooking shows. So that's just how I grew up. Even if I didn't win, I would just be positively chuffed, as they say on the Great British Baking Show, which I watch a lot, by the way. As far as technique and skill, I will definitely keep my eye out for technique and skill. For me, it's gonna be taste, presentation, and absolutely what the dish means to them. Where did where they get this recipe? How they come up with it? That's important to me. Yeah, it's also important to me as well. And of course, we want it to look good. We want it to taste good. But do they have a passion for it? I mean, do they choose a dish that they're like, this is really important to me to make this dish because, and what is that because? Okay, you're at your stations. I'm gonna count you down. Ready? Set, cook! There you go, they're running. <laughs> Oliver smartly grabbed his recipe, like, I wanna get everything on this piece of paper. Okay, so we got two. They're going for it. They're going and getting all that stuff. Got the hunt and gather underway. And we got this little baby. She is braiding her orange. She's getting too zesty. Lauren and Marshall, my brother and sister, our little Marshall from the summer season. Mm -hmm. Looks like Lauren is going to be doing some baking. We're juicing an orange. 
in this. That's book. Oliver breaking out there. It's Oliver. What is he crunching up? Yeah. I don't know what that He's is. He's going at it. Little Miss Lawrence, she got her measuring cup. Yeah. She's getting herself together. Level. Her little yeah. technique with her. There we go. That's right. That's right. Yep. She's got it. Okay, we got hash browns, hash cheddar browns. cheese. Is he making hot dish, this little one? The potatoes are flying. I like Oliver is impressing me with his get it done attitude. He is going at those hash browns. He could be angry at them. I am interested in seeing what's going on down at the end. Strength, muscles. She squeezed the orange, so she juiced it. Mm -hmm. And now she's got her blender out. I'm excited to see what Miss Lauren's over there working on. <laughs> she's so cute. <laughs> she can just take that spout off and pour. <laughs> she's got to tell. She's just gonna go for it. Good, I'm making blueberry muffins. <gasps> Excellent. My goodness. How did you choose blueberry muffins? I did it. My mom made me. Okay. <laughs> Moms know best sometimes. Yeah. Do you like to bake? Yes. Well, you look like you're doing a great job. Thanks. Where did you learn how to bake? Is it something you, uh, your family does a lot of? or? Um, a little bit, and my brother, he has a dairy allergy, and so um, we got a dairy-free cookbook, and it had, like, desserts in it, and then we started making that, and oh. then I just started, like, like, liking baking. Oh, you're so sweet. So I was going to say, is that a big brother or a little brother? Um, big brother. Well, that's a pretty sweet sister to start baking for him. That's pretty awesome. I loved your egg technique. You cracked it and you put it right in your bowl instead of putting it right in your batter. That was a very good move, okay? So you're doing great and um, you just keep it up, okay? Okay. And watch your time, okay? Time right. management. Great job, Lauren. All right, Thanks. great job, sweetheart. Do I just press start or is it already working? Hey Oliver, how you doing? Hey. Looks like El Nino hit back here. How's it going? <laughs> uh, I basically had to just mix all the materials and do this. So now it's just baking and I'm cleaning okay. stuff up so I don't have to later. Yeah. What are you making for us? Yeah. Cheesy potatoes. Um, I'm just basically going to wait till the clock hits like 10 seconds and take it out of the oven and salt it and give it a little pepper. Okay. T 10 seconds? Yeah. Maybe a little more. Okay. Yeah. Well, give yourself a little more time, okay? No, it needs to be bake as much as possible. It's supposed okay. to bake for like an hour at 350 degrees, so. Okay, so you got this all figured out. Yeah. Have you made this before? Yeah, That's a great. lot of times, but I've only made it like the quick baking once, and it worked out fine. Okay. I'll just give you a corner piece and it should be fine. Okay, there you go. You've got a plan and I like it. It's always good to have a plan. So um, we'll let you get this station cleaned up and um, you're doing good, okay? Mm -hmm. right, thank yeah, you. Great job cleaning while you cook, Oliver. Yeah. <laughs> Shell in the bowl. Buttermilk. Oh, there it is. Orange. Oh, I can't get over the fact how this is so like Cook's Country. Cinnamon. Hello, Gigi. Hi. Hi, what do you got going on? I am making glazed orange muffins. They're um, very similar to a cake that my great grandma made. So, it, and it's kind of like cinnamony and warm and like wintry. 
Where did you get this recipe from? I made it up. That's one of my things. I look at recipes and then I just sort of, um, you know, riff. I love it, I love it. You know, I do the same thing, so that's great. And so you said your great-grandmother makes a cake very similar to this? Yeah, I mean, I never knew her, but I knew her recipes. There you go. So. Well, since you never knew her, but you knew her recipes, what do you think some of her favorite foods were? Well, I mean, she liked a lot of baked goods and s stuff. She has a lot of recipes for, you know, all the usual things, but they're, they're always better than the usual, usual things. There you go. I saw you zesting that orange. You were doing great with that, and you look like you've got this all under control. I hope so. I hope it doesn't explode in the oven. That's a good that hope. Would, that all... would not be good. So, um, you're doing wonderful. You just get yourself all cleaned up here, yes. and you just keep it going, okay? Mm, thank you. All right, and when we plate, just make it look pretty, okay? Yes, make everything look pretty. All right, you're doing wonderful. Thanks, Gigi. Thank you. Hi, Gigi. Well, Andre, what did you think of our little cooks over there? I think we have some great stuff going on. Starting right in the forefront here, we have Lauren with the blueberry muffins. What did you think? You know, you pointed out some. You pointed out a technique that was technique. very good. Use. She's using. She's got some technique over there with her egg cracking. I love that she found this recipe in a non-dairy cookbook because her brother has a dairy allergy. Very sweet yeah. and very nice thing to do. What do you think of that little Oliver? I think he is raring to go. We have <laughs> um, a frozen. It looks like frozen hash browns that mm -hmm. is putting together to make cheesy potatoes. Cheesy cheesy. potatoes, yeah. and it does sound like he mm -hmm. has a plan to make sure that they get done, mm -hmm. and then even has a backup plan, which, which I was is... glad to hear. I'm glad of his backup plan. He said he'd just give us the corner pieces. Ten seconds. Yeah. It's coming out in ten seconds. He said he's gonna pull it out ten seconds left on the clock. Okay. We'll keep and it on. I think that'll be fine. Um, he'll be okay. Yeah. We'll we'll give him a little grace. And what do you think about Miss Gigi? The smells down there. I mean, oh, it, it all smells really wonderful, yeah. but when you get that fresh zested orange, the freshly I squeezed smell, orange juice mm -hmm. in there. I it, smelled her cinnamon too. It's I your smell, senses right yeah, away. Very and, warm. And she made this up herself, so that's pretty cool. Off of her grandma's recipe. Using her grandmother's recipe, yeah, I think, is so time. sweet. Her yeah, great grandma. Yeah. She's lucky to have that. Absolutely. Absolutely. This sounds amazing. And we have 15 minutes left, guys. 15 minutes. I'm impressed that the girls are baking. It's quite I think a feat. It, it really is. A baker has to be very precise, and you have to get your measuring correct. Fresh blueberries. Okay. Oh, look at Lauren over there. She uh, is. I, I'm only seeing she a is getting slide herself again. together with her plating. But that's, that's exactly what good. I was talking about. If you have this extra time, time yeah. put it into something. Yeah. Oh, look at those. She put blueberries in those muffins, honey. Yes. Blue. Yes, look at Lauren's little technique with the toothpick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, looks like Lauren put her muffins back in. Maybe they weren't quite where she wanted they them to be. Squishy. The, the only one I'm really slightly worried about plating is going to be Oliver. Because he's not going to pull well, it out. He's, he's even if he does pull it out, it's not going to set up. No. It's, well, he, yeah. it, just, it could just splatter on the plate. He said he did run this recipe through, though. He said he did it. He, he timed it out. And he said it turned out pretty good, he said. So I'm going to have a little I got faith in Oliver. This might be part of this dish. We don't know. Maybe he's going to. Serve us a bowl of cereal with those cheesy potatoes. The little, the little bananas. He is making a fantastic bowl of cereal. I will just say yes. that. Where's my other clock? No, this is horrible. There it is. Eat a spoon. Eat a spoon. She is getting down on those oranges. Watch your fingers. I know. Gigi looks like she has her plates ready to go, and I think, I think you nailed that garnish. Yeah, she's just got her garnish. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I am seeing orange mm -hmm. wedges mm -hmm. that are standing up. Time. Mm. Takes very long time. Is 
because Gigi's pulled out her muffins. Oh, they look nice. I see nice rounded tops over there. Mm -hmm. And she's letting them rest. I didn't see any sort of cups on Gigi's. No, because I think hers is more like a little cake. Okay. It's going to be like a little cake. Be careful plating if that's hot. Attention to detail is... <laughs> <laughs> did I miss? What did I miss? Attention to detail is very important. All right, guys. Three, <laughs> two, two, one. one. Pants up. It's okay. Can we let, can we let Lauren? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It looks beautiful. It's okay. Okay. Did you see Oliver see his knee at all? What did he do? You didn't see him see. Oh, I missed it. Dang it. Hi, Lauren. Hi. So what do we have here, honey? A uh, blueberry muffin with whipped cream. You got a beautiful little garnish on it. Is those raspberries? Yes. Okay. It's like it's sitting on a little snowbank. Yeah. Is that intentional? Because that looks great. Thanks. You did a great job. How did it go for you this first round? Pretty good. Pretty good. A little nervous? Yeah. I'm going to taste it, okay? Because I'm excited to taste this. Two fork it. Oh, look at all inside. those blueberries. It's nice and purple on the inside. That's what I like to see. Yeah, um, I think they're more purple because they were wild blueberries. Oh, these wild blueberries. Good choice. You made this blueberry muffin with no dairy, right? Right. Or okay. um, I used uh, the milk. Okay, so it does right. have a little dairy. Yeah, it's but usually good. I make it. Oh, when you make it for like your brother, you yeah. would not use milk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What would you replace the milk with? Um, almond milk, and I would add lemon juice. It was very good. It's, <laughs> it's, very, it's very good. good. Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> um, one thing with the, the presentation is now again, yeah, we're out of time restraint. Maybe hold off on the plate whipped cream until right before you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just because, especially when it's the aerosol kind, it's gonna sit there. It's gonna, it's gonna melt down. When you got cream on your dish, you can always play, um, put that on last. Okay. Mmm. It's delicious, honey. And in this situation, it might have been a little bit better to have not the whipped cream, but have the muffin on there. So just time management. You got it down. It's a great muffin. Mm -hmm. It was really good. Thank you so much. A delicious muffin. Thank you. What can you tell us, Oliver? What'd you make for us? I made cheesy potatoes. I make it every Christmas and Easter with my grandma. That's great. Well, tell me what's on it. There's frozen hash browns, mm -hmm. some cheddar cheese, okay. some cornflakes, and some salt and pepper to top it off. Lovely. And I added this bowl of cereal so you can see how much better the cornflakes taste in my dish than, it, than they do in the cereal. And I also added some marshmallows and strawberries and blueberries. The cereal is probably going to be good, even if there is some pepper in it. Well, this is a really smart idea because that's going to give those potatoes a lot of texture. Yeah, a little crunch. A Where little did crunch, this recipe come from? It actually came from my grandma's friend's mom's friend. Oh, so love a whole them. group of people on that. That's, yeah. yeah. I love that you want us to compare the cornflakes. Oh, you had to let that dish bake. Did you pull it out in ten, at the 10 second mark like you like you told me you were? Uh, no, I decided I should probably plate up it because I forgot about plating it up. I was just going to take the thing out. But. Okay. That's okay. Well, good. I well, pulled it out at like the one minute. The well, one you, minute? Okay. What do you think it's going to be? What? I think you got it done? Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Okay. I took a corner piece so the texture should be right. I might have added a little too much pepper, but I think it'll do fine. Oh, we like pepper. I like seasoning. Mmm. I like the crunch of the cornflakes. Oliver, I'm going to be absolutely honest with you. I'm surprised. I did not think you were going to pull that off. This is really good. You did a great job. I'm going to have some cereal, too. I put two marshmallows. I put, I put a, marshmallows, marshmallows on that? Two marshmallow slices, some strawberry slices, oh, blueberries. I just want the marshmallow. OK, let me not do that. All right. <laughs> good job with this. I, th I think it's so cute. And this could even be served together if you wanted to. It could. It's like a yeah. very composed little Christmas dish. And you are correct. Mm -hmm. The cornflakes are much better in your dish than they are in the bowl of cereal. Much better. Much better. All right. Well, you did a great job, and um, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Hello, Gigi. Hi. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. This looks wonderful. Thank you. So do you have a name for your dish? Glazed orange muffins. 
Tell me about your plating. I decided to put a little bit of what was in the muffins on the plate. So obviously orange juice and orange zest go in the muffins as well as cinnamon. Okay, and I love your plating. It looks very cute. Thank you so much. Yeah, shall we? Let's, see, let's do it. Okay. One bite. <laughs> oh, do you? Not this good. Thank you. I'm told they're really good with coffee. They would be great with coffee. A little orange coffee takes them up there. Yeah, it's very fresh and bright. It's got it really hits the palate in a nice spot. Yeah. Thank you. And I love your glaze that you did on top. Nice and shiny. The presentation of the cupcake. It's not quite a cupcake. Muffin. I mean, so glazed good. muffin. Glazed so muffin. half cupcake, half muffin. There you <laughs> go. Very nice. Very creative. I love it. Gigi, thank you very much. Oh, of course. All right, guys, great round one, and now we're ready for round two. You get 40 minutes. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Here okay, we go. Okay, so we're gonna count you down. Ready, Come set, set. Come. Give me the milk! Or three, two, go one. Yeah, either way. <laughs> so I'm really excited for round two. I am too, yeah, and there's a lot first. going on. That Gigi gets right to right. it. She's already chopping. Is that a whole cake? I don't know what that is. What is that on the station? On whose? Oliver's. What is that? It's an Asian food cake. Lawrence, he has the muffin pan out again. Yep. I'm okay. seeing Oliver's a lot running more. Around. It's, it's all baking, <laughs> it looks like, with the exception of Oliver. Oliver's doing something with berries. It might be a dessert. I'm seeing a lot of fruit on his I'm seeing nuts, too. I see a banana. I'm thinking a banana split. I don't know what this kid's doing over there. <laughs> he's a, he, he's going to surprise us. I know that. And I can't quite see what Miss Gigi's doing down there. Is, um, do I'm seeing bacon? there's a blender out, and we've got some cracked eggs. Very well composed, it looks like. Mm. Pressure's on. Lauren is pulling it together. Lauren, hello. Hi. How are you? Good. What do we got going on this round? Mini donuts. Oh my goodness. Have you ever made mini donuts before? Yes. Okay. And is this one of your recipes from your cookbook that you like? Yeah. Amazing. When would you serve these, would you say? Is this just kind of like a treat to have around, like a plate of cookies? Or is this something that maybe gets served on Sunday mornings? Sometimes I just like randomly make them and then we just have them. That's, That's so very there's nice. There's nothing wrong with that at all. That's lovely. I love the way you do your eggs. So you, when you crack your egg, you want to just crack it right on a flat surface, okay? If you do it on uh, anything like this or a lip, it's easier to get eggshells in your stuff. So just right on a flat surface, okay? All right, good job, babe. It's looking great. You're doing wonderful. Give me the milk! I need a whisk. I need a pad. Do I put it in the whole thing and put it in this? The whole thing? Looks about right. It's enough whisking. I really whisk I had more time to whisk this. Yeah. No, stop! Stop spilling! Just go in the refrigerator and putify. Ew, mushy part. And some cake. Pudding should be done by now. Why are you not pudding yet? Did I do something wrong? Oh no. How do you make pudding? Oh no, I'm dead. Please tell me you have more pudding mixture. I messed up bad. I, I, I forgot to measure the milk. I just poured some in. Wait, what? I did measure the milk. I mean, it's only supposed to take five minutes, but maybe I just put too much in it? No, maybe this is a good thing. More drama for the show. Hello, Oliver. How are you? Not great. Uh, I thought I messed up the pudding and I took it out of the fridge and I wasted a bunch of time. Oh, I, you're I, doing all I, right, I do Oliver. I do doing... remember um, measuring it. 
Okay. But it seems like it's not solidifying fast enough, and I don't know why. Okay. I did everything with, as the directions said. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, where'd you get this recipe from? I, maybe I didn't whisk it enough. I got it from the thing. I'm going to whisk it more in a second. Okay. After okay. I take my marshmallows out, but... Yeah, All right, and you just got to time it. Did you time your five minutes? Just give it, give it time. Give time, you, time. You still have 23 minutes left. You got, you're good. You're okay. It's gonna be fine. Yeah. Does this go in the oven? What? No. The, no? No, 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 no. Okay. Well, I think you might be okay. It goes in the fridge, actually. Oh, you want to let it set? All right. <laughs> Oliver, where'd you get this recipe? Um, my grandma's mom. Oh, so your so great grandma. Great -grandma. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right, well, you look whisk. like you got it. Your whisk is going to be, it should be in there. I don't know where it is. Okay, we're going to let you get to it. Oliver, I have faith in you. Thank I you very too. much. I do, it's too. Just got to stay calm and keep moving forward. You can get yeah. this, okay? You got this. All right, good job. I'm looking forward to trying it. Yes. Should work out fine. Hello. Hi. Hi, Gigi. Gigi. How's it going? It's going well. It's going messy. Yeah, no, no, that's okay. What are you What are you making for us? I am making crepes with Nutella and homemade whipped cream and fresh fruit. Oh, lovely. So is this a, a recipe you came up with or? No, this one, this one is something that my mom showed me. I don't know who um, made it originally, but, um, and the toppings are just things that I think would go well on crepes. Okay, cool, 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 cool. You made your own whipped cream, that's lovely. And- Where are the crepes at? The crepes are chilling and that's my timer to take them out of the freezer. Okay. Um, usually, when I make them at home, we just put them out in a snowbank. <laughs> <laughs> what a great technique. Um, but yeah. They call that a Minnesota refrigerator. Uh-huh, uh -huh. exactly. <laughs> awesome. Well, you look like you're doing great. You have it all under control. I'll call out when we're 10 minutes in, okay? Okay. All right. Gigi, thank you very much. Thank you, Gigi. Thank you. Well, Andre, what did you think? Tomorrow, I think they are doing a great job. There's a lot going on, and with all of the baking, mm -hmm. there's so many more steps that need to be achieved to get the result that they're hoping for, and I hope that they can do it. It's very um, ambitious to bake with the time constraint. Little Miss Lauren, these girls, you can tell they bake. They, bake, they do this I mean, all I the guess time. They bake a lot, yeah. They bake, they bake all the time. Well, these are donut holes, aren't they? Did she call them donut holes? I thought they were donut holes. Okay, so that would be just like the little round yeah. ball. Very ambitious. Little muffin testing. She's really good about her muffin testing. Mm -hmm. She uses the toothpick method, which always works. She is taking the little muffins out. They're muffins, but they're donut muffins. They're donut muffins. That's what it is, they're donut muffins. We're buttering or glazing, maybe, perhaps. So she made a little glaze, I believe, for her donut, her donut muffins. Interesting. And a pile of, we had so much whipped cream everywhere. We're whipping it up. Whip it real good. Oliver is the only one I'm seeing taste it as he's making it. That's important. The components of the dish are getting tried before they get put together. Okay, this isn't hardening at all. What did I miss? Still 20 minutes left. I'll just whisk it more. Please work, please harden, please. I'm gonna put you in the freezer so you harden faster. Hopefully that works. Um, that's all I need to do. Oliver seems to be pulling it together. The bananas! I forgot the bananas, no. Oliver has all the fruit. I saw a banana, I saw a strawberry. I'm gonna let this sit in the freezer so the flavors can blend together even if it isn't fully done. Okay, Oliver's got a plate. Two, he's got two. He's got two plates, yay. One for me and one for you. Mm -hmm. Pudding's a no-go, I'm gonna have to rely on my cool whip mixture. Why'd I put my plate all the way over there?
Miss Gigi seems quite composed. Glorious. She chilled That's her batter. Now there's a technique there. Mm -hmm. That's technique in that. She's using her mesh, so she's measuring yeah. it out and she's pointing it right into her hot pan. I like seeing the chatter, even if there's no one responding. Yeah, I, I like seeing the chatter of them while they're working. This is oddly thin. Oh no, that's not good. Hmm. Let's try that again. It's too thin. Hmm. Third time's the charm. Whew. You're telefocused. And I can see Gigi looks like she started her plating. Folks, you got about two minutes left. Try to work on that final plating. Make sure it looks good. Make sure it's something that you're happy to present. Clean plates. Yeah, clean your plates. Five. Four, three, two, one, time's, time's up. up. Well, hello, Ryan. So, what do we have here? Mini donut holes. Mini donut holes. Well, they look delicious. Is there anything you want to tell us about your dish? Well, it has a lot of butter, and butter makes things better. Absolutely. Butter makes everything better. And I see you have a little garnish of that. Is that uh, sugar? Yes, and cinnamon. Sugar cinnamon dust. Lovely, lovely. Lauren, can you remind me, why did you choose this dish? Um, it's just something that I'm kind of good at baking, and I really like it. Yeah, quite the art form. I'm going to taste now. All right. Excited. Mm hmm. Mm, so good. Well, these are delicious. Mm hmm. They're done all the way through. Yep. I love the sugar. That's really good. One thing you want to remember is you just want to make sure your plates all nice and clean when you present it, okay? Other than that, great job, Lauren. Yeah, it has a real nice state fair mini donut taste to it. It does. And I have to agree, I, I'm just clean the plate and Yep, a nice clean plate when you present, okay? So, so important. But thank you so much. Thanks for doing such a great job and being here with us. Thank you for having me. Thanks, Lauren. <laughs> Hi, Oliver. Hi. Hi. What do we have here? It's English trifle, but I added some things, so now it's amazing mongoose trifle. My pudding, I followed the directions right, but it just didn't, didn't work. Okay. So, putting this trifle but it's okay because they have guardians one is george and one over there is larry wait you say guardians yeah so the it doesn't go bad okay without the pudding because it's not gonna be right it's not gonna be quite the same without the pudding okay but you know what you had to make an adjustment and you pivoted because if you would have put the pudding on it would probably ruin the dish right mm -hmm. well actually if i would have put it on top it would yeah okay we're gonna dig right in and give it a try here. Mmm. And I mixed the marshmallows into the Cool Whip. Mm -hmm. Okay. It would have been a lot better with the pudding. But you melted those marshmallows, mix it with the mm -hmm. Cool Whip. It thickened it up quite a bit and it's nice. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna taste your marshmallow whip thingy. Oh, there's a, that's a, <laughs> that's a marshmallow there. And Larry and George probably taste pretty good too. Is yes. that what's happening Apple here? Apple banana? Yeah. I love it's these. a smiley face. Oh, it is a smiley eyebrows. face. Gotcha. Okay. I used there. raspberry uh, leaves as eyebrows. Oh, well, there you go. Sweetie, I think you did a great job. Mm -hmm. I think it looks great. I think you. it's very colorful. The one thing you could have done, but you didn't have to, with Larry and George's eyes. Yeah, I was gonna add blueberry pupils, but I just didn't quite have enough time. No, that's okay. Um, how do you keep your um, apples from turning this color? You just soak them in a little lemon juice and they stay, and they don't get brown, okay? That's yeah, but they're kind of freshly cut, so they're not that brown yet. Okay. I don't think. All right. 
What? You did what you had to do to get it done. Everything's on there with the exception of the pudding. It is a comprised dish. And what did you like about making it? I like making the little smiley faces. Okay. And, and I like making the Cool Whip mixture. Well, good job, Oliver. You did an amazing job. Yeah, Oliver, thank you for making this for us. Yeah, very creative. <laughs> Hello, Gigi. Hi. Okay, what do we have here, young lady? Crepe with Nutella, bananas, and whipped cream. Hmm. And why did you decide to make this dish? I decided to make it because um, during winter, we have a lot of like brunch type things, and crepes is always something on the menu. Lovely. I have a question. Why did you refrigerate your batter? Well, first of all, what a big surprise. It, it was in the recipe. I think the reason is like it might change the the cooking process. Um, it might like change the texture or something is what I'm guessing. I'm ready to dig in. I'm ready to taste this. Okay. Very nice, nice texture. Consistent throughout. And you made your whipped cream yourself, right? Yes, it's Lovely. my grandma's recipe. All right. We make whipped cream a lot on Easter and stuff. I wish you would have gone a little bit more with have this wonderful centerpiece on there. And you started flaring it with the strawberries. The two plates didn't match. Not a huge deal. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more color, a little bit more fruit, because what it tastes like and what it looks like right now are way separate where I would like to see the look be as good as the flavor. Well, I think it tastes wonderful, and I would have loved some more of your whipped cream that you made. Oh, okay. But other than that, Gigi, I think you did an amazing job. Thank you. All Very right. good, Gigi. Yeah, thank you. All right, Andre, what did you think of that second round? I thought it was a great round of dishes. Again, yeah, there were some mistakes. Yeah, there were some things that were missed, perhaps. Mm -hmm. But when you look at the dishes overall, mm -hmm. we had Lauren with the blueberry muffins, followed by the... Donut holes. The donut holes. Mm -hmm. We had Oliver with the cheesy potatoes and then the amazing mongoose trifle. Yes. Very cool. creative. Yeah. Followed by Gigi with... The cinnamon orange little, yes, yes. little muffins. Mm -hmm. And then she did this nice little Nutella banana crepe. There was a lot of creativity, a lot of sweet stories that went with where yes. these recipes came from, I what they that. mean to some of the kids. Yes. And it was Very really important. nice to hear that. And it was yeah. great to see some of the cooking techniques that were mm -hmm. going on mm -hmm. because a lot of people don't bake, a lot of adults don't bake. So right. to see these kids doing it. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. I'm just up in the air, but we'll, we'll discuss. I just think it went good. The blueberry muffins, um, I didn't have enough time to cook them for 20 minutes because I have like got like a little like late start because I was grabbing all the ingredients and so I didn't have enough time to like start and so I had to put them in for like 15 and then some got 17 minutes instead of 15. Like, they were they were very like liquidy in the middle like I did the toothpick and it was like, it came out dirty and I didn't have enough time. I was nervous for her but she did a great job. I'm really proud of her. I kind of like burnt my um, finger a little bit when I was grabbing the muffins out. The blueberry muffins. I'm very proud of those. Very. How would you rate this experience? Would you do it again? Yes, I would. Just maybe not as late, because I'm very tired right now. What did you learn from this experience? The baking is hard work. Sometimes you have to have like a, you have to use time management wisely. I think it went pretty good. I think on my first dish, I nailed it. And on my second one, it didn't go as great, but I think I kind of pulled through. He's good, he's good at everything he does. You know, jumps right in there and gets you done. What do you think was the most successful part of your dishes today? The cheesy potatoes. I think they went good. Pudding was a complete disaster. I followed the directions, but it didn't work out. I learned don't rush things, even if you have, like, not that much time. Well, actually, no, I didn't learn that. I learned, uh, don't trust directions. <laughs> well. Especially for pudding. I think, I think it went well. I, I feel like I just aged 20 years. That was the most stressful thing I've <laughs> ever done in my life. <laughs> you were so calm. Uh, what's a tablespoon? <laughs> 
And oh, your man. your father and I were not calm. Yeah, no, I know. I was joking. I was joking. The format was different than than I had um, expected. Like I thought it was just going to be, you know, I'm baking something, and then I. Um, you know, it's just sort of like a cooking show type thing, but no, it was Great British Baking Show <laughs> Junior. Oh, I would definitely do this again. I think if I could do this every two days, I mean, first of all, I would get bored of it, but it would it's awesome in my mind. <laughs> you would not get bored of it. I think everyone did a good job, so like I would be, I would be really pleased if I won, but I think everyone has a chance of winning. Either me or, I forgot her name, Gigi. Who do you think won? Me. <laughs> <laughs> but the other dishes were really good. I tried some of those glazed orange muffins. They were good and the blueberry muffins were uh, good too. It's not as good as my cheese potatoes though, not even close. At least in my opinion, but I just really like cheesy potatoes. So excited to be back. Thank you chefs, my little young chefs. You guys have all earned that title today. I wanna to thank you for your participation. You all did an amazing job. Yeah, you guys did a great job. Each and every one of you had so many strong points throughout the day on the dishes that you were making. I hope that you guys go home with a desire and a want to do more cooking. And the, the winner, winner of, of the, the great, great Minnesota, Minnesota Recipe, Recipe Junior is, is Miss Gigi blew us away. I feel really good because I know that like I practice really hard and these dishes that I made were like things that I really love to make. Like it's fun for me. It's not just I need to do this for a cooking show. Um, so it was kind of just expressing me I want to train and like work really hard to own my own bakery. Um, it's been my dream since I was since I was little, and so yeah, I'm just gonna make the best food in the entire world and have everyone come visit me in Paris and buy my food for a million dollars. So we had three great kids, and um, for us, the winner it just came down to originality. Originality recipe. Yeah. I love an original recipe. And then taste. And taste. Absolutely. It was it was delicious. Taste. I mean chocolate, banana. That's a no that's a winner winner right there, but it was her first dish for me. Her uh, cinnamon orange. orange. It was fantastic. Tonight I am going to sleep, 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 and be happy. Funding for the Great Minnesota Recipe Junior is provided in part by Doherty Appliance Sales and Service, Goat Hill Marketplace, the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund, and viewers like you. Thank you.